Now we want to talk about who comprises Babylon in these last days. So we had physical Babylon back then, but the Bible speaks about a Babylon in the book of Revelation. Who comprises Babylon and what is their aim? If you go to Revelation 18, not Revelation 18, so Revelation 14, we read verse 8. We have Revelation 14, 8. All yes. good Adventists should know that. What does that verse say? And they followed another angel saying what? Babylon. Babylon. Uh, it's come fallen. on. It's fallen. It's fallen. It's fallen. It's that that great, great city. city. Because, because she made she all knew. nations drink of the wine of her yeah. fornication. Now, the sex says Babylon is fallen. Now, the fall is not complete. It's a progressive fall. But when that message was given, that message was given after 1798. This is an end time message. This was not given hundreds and hundreds of years ago. This is since 1798 that this message was uh, given. Now, so it's an end time message along with the angel of uh, verses uh, six and seven and the angel of nine through 12. So this is a message for the end time. Now, this could not refer only to the papal system because the papal system has been fallen for hundreds and hundreds of years. And so Babylon must include all the, the, the Protestant churches that have compromised and adopted to a large degree the papal system or the Catholic system, if I can be more blunt. And so Babylon is a combination of false worship systems of which the Roman church is the largest contributor and all other churches in professedly uh, Protestantism have uh, surrendered to actually there, there, there was a meeting a few years ago between Catholics and Protestants and some prominent either Catholic or Protestant said that the, Reforma the, 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 Reformation the Reformation is over. Is the, Reformation, the Reformation is done. This is an evidence of the fallen condition of Babylon. And so Babylon refers to a false system of worship, which includes Protestantism, apostate Protestants, I should say, and of course, the Roman, the Roman system. So that is Babylon. And the fall is not yet complete, you see, because God still has people in Babylon. And so he'll call them out in Revelation 18, come out of her, my people. And so that fall is not yet complete because God still has some people in there. But as a general system, Babylon, which refers to false systems of worship, they have fallen very, very far. And why do I say a, a Protestantism? If you fall, you've got to fall from somewhere. You fall from a height. You never fall up. You fall down. When Lucifer fell, he fell from above. He was cast down. Before he fell, he occupied an exalted position. Protestantism, during the time of the Reformation in the 16th century, they were very much in favor with God because they were opposing entrenched error. They did not know everything because Martin Luther never kept the Sabbath, but he was still a child of God. They did not know everything, but they knew that the system under which they, they were brought up was false. And so in its early beginnings, Protestantism pleased God. But as the centuries have passed, Protestantism have al has aligned itself with the papal system. And in doing that, Protestantism is fallen, is fallen, is still falling, and has become a major part of Babylon. Amen. And I hope we're seeing that connection. Mm -hmm. Prote Protestantism fell because it began to intermix, or we can even yes. say intermarry mm -hmm. with deception, with mm -hmm. the papacy, getting back to those doctrines that they had left off because they were ungodly. So friends, God calls us to be separate. And just to be clear, remember the first question we understood that Babylon originally, its origins, it's a physical place that was built by Nimrod who did so in rebellion to God. And in these last days, spiritual Babylon represents those that are in rebellion to the word of God, namely the papacy and apostate Protestantism. So we, we, we see that God used physical Babylon as a symbol of spiritual Babylon, which I would say is even <clears throat> greater in these yes. last days. Let's go to Genesis chapter 11. Let's uh, continue on Babylon. Genesis 11, we'll read from verse 4, from verse 1. All right. Do we have that? Yes. And the whole earth was in one language and one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain where? 
in the yeah, land of Shina, and they dwelt there. And they said once another, go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. So they had brick for stone and slime had there for mortar. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. It was God's will that mankind would occupy the entire world. The builders of Babel did not want to do that. So they stated the opposition to God's will. God's will was replenish the earth. That's what he told Adam. He also told Moses, uh, Noah the same thing in Genesis 9. They refused that. They wanted to concentrate. And so they said, let us make us a city, build us a city and a tower, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad. They opposed the will of God. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. God had to come down, look at it, and then, of course, he pronounced judgment on it. Verses 6 and 7 of, of Genesis 11. And so we see flagrant opposition to God, not opposition born of ignorance, but flagrant opposition to God's system. So we have some more introductory material about Babylon, and this is the same people who we read about in chapter 10, whose kingdom was Babel, Eric, Babel, Eric, Akid, and Calne in the land of Shina, led by this infamous person called Nimrod. Flagrant opposition to God's system. Yeah. Religious you see, the, the fact that something is religious doesn't make it good. They had their religion. Don't misunderstand me. The Canaanites had their religion. The Moabites had their religion. But God was not favorable to any of those religions. He gave the true religion to the Hebrews or to the Jews or to the Israelites. So the, the problem isn't, the problem isn't uh, religion in the sense, is it, is it consistent with thus said the Lord? And Babylon's religious system is diametrically opposed the God system, even though in many aspects it looks familiar. And so Babylon is Satan's chosen instrument for promoting and popularizing a system of worship that is contrary to God's system. Amen. Amen.